Content Creation 101. Doesn't get any simpler than this. If you have an idea, I'm not sure what your idea is, but your content, this is kind of how they break it up. You know, some of these big, fancy uh, marketing companies, right, basically, this is what they kind of do. Not all of them, but this is pretty much the gist of it. And how do I know? Because I watch a lot of videos. I watch a lot of content. I You, you put together a pattern on how, how things go. And here's just an idea, right? You have one minute video. So you yourself would create this content, essentially. You'd have like a one minute video, a 30 second video, a 10 minute video, a one hour video, a 20 minute audio, 15 second intro video, a 15 second outro video, a 15 second intro audio, and a 15 second outro audio. For your content, like your visual, your pictures and all that stuff. For example, this is this is for a restaurant. This is for example, I created this for a restaurant. So the content is this. You have three infographics, which is a, uh, it's a page with a workflow. Like this goes here. Uh, this is how this works. It's really just a, a visual representation of the outline. And you have 70 food images, um, 70 store images, or sorry, seven store images, seven restaurant images, seven 360 degree images, 100 store items, and a 60-page book with rest, with in, images. So th this is all you need, really, if you're a restaurant, let's say, for instance. And you could use it for whatever. Uh, just use kind of the same template. Uh, so the platforms to create all this stuff, you use Canva. You could use Pixels. So Canva is, you create your thumbnails with that. You create your infographics with that. You can actually even uh, upload your images and your videos. Um, if they're a certain size, uh, pixels is like a royalty free site for images, windows video, video, video editor. That's an open source. Well, it's a, a no pay way to edit your videos and open broadcast to you that tool the software you use to actually do screen share and you can create audio as well with it. You just have to have a, a microphone you know, with a camera basically. Or not a camera. Uh, and you can create your own uh, video and your audio. So let's talk about posting platforms. Where would you post it? How would you post it? Etc. Um, your Anchor. So Anchor is a podcast platform. You would podcast weekly. KDP. That's where you create books. Twitter. Uh, the images you have and the videos you have. Just chop them up into one minute sections. And you do three to seven posts per week. Uh, Getter is like Twitter, three to seven posts per week. Instagram, three to seven. Pinterest, three to seven. Reddit, three to seven. Discord, three to seven. LinkedIn, uh, three to seven. Locals, three to seven. Or, sorry, three. Odyssey, uh, three. That's a video, three per week. Rumble is a video, three per week. YouTube, three per week. Uh, Meetup. Um, three posts per week. If you have a meetup group, let's say Facebook, three to seven posts per week and, uh, Yelp. Now, again, this is for like a restaurant Yelp. You can post pictures of a store restaurant and as well as trip advisors and to just label them. Now let's talk about your website out there. So you can use HostGator, HostZinger, GoDaddy, whatever you want to use. Um, there's a good person on, on YouTube is a Tyler, if you type Tyler plus WordPress, he, uh, gives you like a three hour video of how to create a WordPress site from start to finish. And he says with no steps skipped, anyhow, uh, daily, uh, update. So if you want to manage your own website, right, let's say, um, you got to daily, you got to do it daily. So that means daily updates, updates, plugins, and the update itself, the on the ads themselves. So if you had ads, let's like say you have a web, restaurant website or whatever, you can update with weekly ads or monthly ads. Um, you link your website to Twitter, and you link your podcast to Twitter if you have a podcast. And if you have something similar to this, the, the you know you can just buy these boards at Walmart basically, or a craft store 
And they're just poster boards, basically, just pieces of big paper, basically. And just write down your ideas, you know, brainstorm um, how you want to do it. And you put it on paper, and then you just implement whatever the paper is. It doesn't matter if it takes you six months to do this. Uh, but just planning it out, getting out of your head onto paper, uh, and then you know, utilizing it and put it out there. So people to, you know, uh, look at your content, view your content, and expand your brand.